Brilliant. Hi, Jürgen. How are you? Hi, James. I'm good. And you? Yeah, really well, thank you. Are you able to give us an update on whether the likes of Alisson and Jota will be back this weekend? And also, how much importance are you placing on this match? Um, no, Alisson and Jogo have no. Um, Ali trained today um, more than the day before, so he will be definitely available for, for Fulham, but not for the weekend. Um, and the same for Jogo. Jogo was not here with us. How could he play um, a football game? Um, that will take a while, unfortunately. Um, uh, that's it. On importance, yeah, it's very important uh, because um, we played this final a couple of times um, as others as well. And I think it would be nice if we could win it at one time. It's a, the last domestic cup competition we didn't win yet. And um, so we will give it a try, of course. And the nation have been gripped by the women's Euros at the moment. What have you made of the tournament and how are you feeling about Germany taking on England on Sunday? Yeah, first of all, I must really have to say I love women's football. It's outstanding. Um, the, the quality of the tournament is, in, is insane. Um, England is doing exceptionally well. I saw two games, I saw three games of Germany. They do really well as well. I think it's a it's it's a really good final. Uh, two intense teams face each other. I was in contact a little bit. You can imagine that I'm as much as I love England in this specific case, um, my heart is uh, on the on the German side, and but the better team might win. I'm completely fine with that. And I think in, in at Wembley um, sold out with the English crowd, it will be a massive challenge for Germany. But most important, I think, is um, the the face the the women's football showed. It's a fantastic game we all knew that before and um, women's football over the last few years um, exploded in their development it's tactic tactically on an incredible high level technically on an incredible high level the intensity of the game so means physically really really good uh, and I love watching it I really love watching it and um, congratulations to all the teams who were part of it because it was a, a commercial or is a commercial for for football not only for women's football um, and just shows how, how how fantastic this game is and we will see that's obviously I'm I think England is a slight favorite because of playing at home uh, but um, yeah, Germany has a chance as well, and that's enough. Thank you, James. Ian Abrahams. Hi, Jürgen. How are you? Hi, Ian. Good. I hope you've had a good summer. Um, this you haven't even kicked off yet, and I'm going to mention the title. Last year, you came so close. One goal at the Etihad away, one one point away from winning. Firstly, how long did it take you this summer to to get over last season, and how close you came to? the quadruple and everything. And secondly, in terms of this season, what are the fine margins that you've been thinking about over the summer that will get you what you didn't get last season? Um, it took me a day and then we had a parade uh, in Liverpool and I was fine with everything because um, we knew obviously it was close. We knew... Uh, was unlucky in moments, these kind of things. But it's anyway, it's sports and uh, we accept the rules. Uh, one point more is enough after 38 match days and uh, one get goal more can be in, or is enough in a football game usually as well. So um, we accept that. Uh, and, but it, um, so it took me not long. The, the summer, uh, what, what was my conclusion of the last season? Um, I, I don't think it makes too much sense to 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 think like this. Um, we we played an incredible high level. We were consistent. Um, all these kind of things. We played good football, not always, but very often. Um, and we were deserved winners in the way, in the games we won. So um, we fought hard. That's all. These are all things we have to do again. Um, and, but of course, we have a, a, a little change in our team. We lost Sadio, who was a, was a fixed lineup player for six years. And that's clear. But um, it's always like this. We cannot only um, um, try and stick together forever. Um, we have to make changes. And when Sadio came and asked for, um, for, the, for, for or told us that he wants to um, face a new challenge, we, because it was early enough, we accepted that and, and uh, said, yeah, when the club is coming and then everything goes well, then we can do that. So we had time to prepare that situation because he came early. Um, and that's what we did. Um, and now we have to, to find together again. That's completely normal as well. It was always in pre-seasons like this and this year is not different, but with the difference that one, one um, fixed point is, is gone. That will be interesting. Uh, but the good thing is um, 
we don't have to think too far. We just, we just have to find a way to win the football games, the specific football games on the weekend. So like now on Saturday, which is early, I, I like the competition, but I think um, again here would be possible to to find another date for it maybe because we had a longer season than, than other teams and now we have a shorter uh, preseason than other teams. So that all um, it makes not too much sense. I think Germany plays the Super Cup final and the, the, for that day, the teams who are involved don't have to play one cup, one cup round. Uh, there are opportunities, obviously, but maybe we can think about that um, or somebody can think about that. Um, no, so we have to find a way and that's what we try. Um, definitely, and that's what we're working on since we are together again. And um, yeah, and now in two days, um, the season starts again, and I'm really looking forward to it. And will, will Saturday have any bearing on what this, what will, will come this season, or is it just a preseason friendly? What a preseason friendly? Did yeah, you... is is Saturday going to have any bearing, <laughs> or is it just? I mean, some people see it as really important. Some people see it as just well. It's another preseason game before you play at Fulham on Saturday week. And the situation is it's a very important game. And the situation is we still have to prepare a season. Now we cannot ignore that. So we we played last night against Salzburg. We've lost one nil. We trained the day before twice. So um, pretty intense. That, that's how what we have to do. I cannot ignore the fact that after this important game is a season coming up. Um, so we have to extend our our preseason if we want into the season. We play on Saturday against um, City, and we play on Sunday uh, 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 a preseason friend or test game, whatever, um, against uh, Strasbourg. Then we play Fulham, and the next day we play another um, game. Just that we can extend our our preseason. That's what we have to do because from mid August on, I think we play every three days again. So there's no time for training anymore. So we try to do the right things, but of course the the, the schedule is always a challenge to deal with, and that's how it is. Not first time; it's always like this. Um, and the game on Saturday, if it will will it show a lot about the season? I, I expect two good teams. I saw last night. Um, even when we lost, uh, especially in the second half, I saw us in a really good shape. I hope that we can bring that on the pitch on Saturday as well. Um, but of course, it will be a challenge just to play now 90 minutes in. I'm not sure how the weather in England is, but uh, it can be hot as well. So that all um, comes then together and we will, we will see. But um, if you win it, it's a very important competition. If you lose it, then it becomes less important. Thank you, Hi, Jürgen. Hi. Um, talking about the preseason, you had so many games back to back to back in the second half of last season. How good has it been to get your players onto the training pitch and have some extended time with them? And also, how beneficial is that to someone like Luis Diaz, who came in in January and just playing game after game? Has it been good for him to get loads of time on the training pitch with his teammates? Yeah, it's important for for everybody. So it's like we, you need to get used to each other again. That's how it is. But we can build on on patterns we used in the past, obviously, because the majority of the team is is together for a longer time. So that's that's really good. But we brought in some um, um, fresh blood as well. So we can say Lewis now. We can for sure say he is still um, in that category. And um, of course, um, Darwin and of course um, uh, Fabio. So, uh, but it's good for all of us. And it's uh, we said it come plenty of times that um, this this game only works really if you if you can work on a training pitch it's not, it's not a game you can you 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 just can play every day so you need time on the brain training pitch to work together to work on different things tactical stuff defensively offensively and the only time we really have is the preseason that's why we love it and use it as good as we can and train as often as it's somehow possible um, and then that means then in the same moment we play always out of full training the 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 the, the, the games the, the preseason games, um, which makes it on some days just impossible to perform on a high level, but we get watched by the whole world and then everybody's like, oh my God, how does that look? And these kind of things, but we, we cannot do everything in the same moment. So we, sport science, uh, if you train and you are never, and never feel the intensity, then something is wrong with training. So you only can get an effect from training, if you reach a specific amount of um, of kilometers, if you want these kind of things, so we have to do that, and um, and we did it. So from that point of view, I'm fine. We will see if we are fresh on Saturday. I cannot promise that, but we will try to fight with all we have. And one of those new players you brought in, uh, Fabio uh, Carvalho, uh, he did try to sign him in January, uh, but he's come in now. 
he looks like he's well worth the wait because he's looked really good and he seems like he's fitted in really well. Absolutely, but last night he was tired as well. You could see that he's a he's a technical player. He's incredibly um, creative, um, and we will have a lot of fun with him definitely. But for example, that's a good example because Fabio last night um, was okay, but he can be much better, and that's just how it is. You you need all these kind of things. You need his little lows as well. So I'm really happy with him. He's, um, he showed up. He's in, in the middle of the team after a short period of time, and um, that's. A good sign for the team, but for him as well. So he's an open, open um, young man, and um, yeah, top addition for us. Thank you, Carl. Neil Jones. Hi, Jürgen. You okay? You. Just wanted to ask about Bobby Firmino, and obviously a lot of focus has been on Darwin, on Mo's new deal, on Sadio leaving, but Firmino's still there. I, I just wondered how important he remains to to your plans, and whether you'd like to see him stay beyond this season because he's he's obviously into the last year of his contract now. Bobby's crucial for us. Uh, Bobby's heart and soul of this team. So um, the, way, the way we played in the last few years was only possible because of Bobby. Um, and that's why I'm really happy that he could um, train the majority of the time here in the, in the preseason so far. And um, everything looks really good. Um, and yeah, so I'm absolutely fine. And for me, there's no doubt um, about his quality. So... Um, and all the rest, we will see how this how this year goes. But yes, he is essential for us. Thanks. Okay, so if there's no more from the open section, we move on to the breakout. Um, just to cl clarify that, any of that content from this section is embargoed until 10 days again tomorrow night. Um, 